A few days ago, I used the flag behind me to show how you can use a flag to annoy everybody at once. And I used it in reference to a certain video on another channel. I'm now going to set my watch and set a stopwatch. Let's reset it because I was timing something else. I notice this the um, Zoom doesn't particularly love picking up phones, but I'm going to set it for five minutes from now. And I'm going to share that particular video. And we're going to do the comments under it. And I'm going to show how it's actually produced such wonderful stuff. Let's see what we get from now, starting now. If they don't like it, do one. However, the black ro Jolly Roger flack devices makes me heave. They can F off then, and it's not F off that's written down there. I'm not reading it out, the full F word, because YouTube doesn't particularly like swear words and can give you a, a warning for it. Invaders will, of course, seek to rem remove symbols of previous sovereignty. Where are these invaders coming from? I wasn't aware of this. Bam offended our delusion, or Britain should not be proud of its colonial, should be a colonial history, but former all former colonies should appreciate what the empire did for those nations. If ethnics don't like our flag, leave the country. I want my country back. Here we are. Here's TJ, one of the few kind of semi sensible people the far-right commandeer the British flag for racist, jingoistic purposes, which is exactly what's going on here, unfortunately. Don't like the flag, do like benefits, NHS. Let's see, well, freedom of speech. Well, of course, freedom of speech involves the right to criticise Britain as well as to praise it. Funny enough, that seems to have flown over the head of the person making that point. Hate the flag, go back to where you come from. You won't have to look at it then. May I suggest that we put a well union jack on all application forms for welfare funding? Why? What would be the logical point in that then? If ethnics don't like our flag, they can go back to where their flags are more to their taste. Lo loads of comments like that, of course. I find it offensive to see the Pakistani flag flying above Westminster Cathedral. It wasn't because Westminster Cathedral is a Catholic and Westminster Abbey is Anglican, showing the incredible intellect as usual display in this these kind of channels. Also, someone hasn't investigated the backdrop to that again. That um, SHIT newspaper is only for leftists, so they will hate it because of that newspaper, I would say, lie. It'll be the tramps that work for their SHIT. I'm up to two minutes and 17 seconds. I'm sure you're seeing a, a wonderful trend of nativist screaming at the sky rubbish so far. Let's see how far I go in another two minutes. You can't see it from Pakistan. Have you tried moving there? Tough, they should get used to it. They should leave if they don't like it. This is only causing a bigger divide between true UK citizens and the foreign parasites. Now, I'd say it's videos like this and nativist junk like this that is doing that and it's deliberately doing it and digging. If anyone doesn't like our flag, don't come here. English will be the ethnic minority at this rate. Somebody's just written titty. I suppose that's about as intelligent as you can get with this. Deport, deport, deport. Should be forced to kiss the flag every time before giving them a handout. Tough S-H-I-T. Except that, to be fair, they ha they've left off the IT. It's our flag. If they don't like it, they can go leave. This video was purposely put out to draw that sort of stuff out. Let's see what else we've got as we go down. It's my flag. If you don't like it, you can F off again. Don't like our flag, then bugger off and live somewhere else. You can see the... Uh, not as offensive as I fly in the flag of Pakistan flying on Westminster Abbey. Notice how the video on Westminster Abbey was put out before that on this channel to build up to this, to start this narrative off and to build it. We're on four minutes now. Let's see what else we got. I was brought up to 
call the British flag the Union Jack is Jack a racist word now. If they don't like our flag, then F off. We've now had about five or ten of those comments. I went into my local corner shop only to find it doesn't sell Easter eggs. I won't be going there again ever. Ooh, I'm sure they shall cry and have a... If they don't like it, they are free to be bugger off too de sweet. Someone has appears to think they're stuck in a episode of Only Fools at Horses speaking bad French there. If they don't like the British flag, there are plenty of exits. Hope they choose one and take the Palestinian flag with them, or the Palestine flag with them. No one has explained rules about possessives in English to this person, it would appear. Um, say a no to Chim, whatever that means. Um, uh, they hate the UK, but all come here flocking for our benefits. That's five minutes. No one is telling me you do not put have an agenda when you put up videos like that to draw that out to basically get people shouting at the sky in increasingly impotent ways my question is what is actually accomplished we all know there are cultural divides in britain and problems with polarization of politics but the owner of this channel has effectively monetized people shouting at the sky that's all that seems to be going on here